Hello, this short video is designed to show you how to access and run an item analysis on a Blackboard test. Item analysis provides statistics about overall test performance and individual questions. It measures the effectiveness of your test questions, letting you see quickly which questions might need revision. You can access item analysis in a few locations. From a test deployed in a content area, from the test page, or from a grade center column. Select item analysis to begin the process. Select the test for which you wish to run an item analysis. Bear in mind item analysis is available for deployed test only. Click run to begin the process. A purple status bar will appear at the top once the item analysis is complete. Access the report by clicking the link in the purple status bar or the new link under Available Analysis. The item analysis page contains summary statistics for the test as a whole, as well as statistics for individual questions. The test summary provides a snapshot of the test. It shows how many attempts are still in progress or completed, average score and average completion time. You can see how many questions are good, fair and poor discriminators of student performance. You can see how many questions in the test were easy, medium or hard. Further down the page, each question and its statistics are listed. A question is a good discriminator when students who answer it correctly also do well on the test as a whole. If the discrimination score is less than 0.1%, then the question might not be a good question to differentiate between students who know the subject matter and those who don't. Discrimination values cannot be calculated when all students get the same score on the question. The difficulty value is the percentage of students who answered the question correctly. Questions that are either too easy or too hard may need to be reviewed. A red circle will appear next to questions labelled either easy or hard and questions with poor discrimination values. These are the questions that you might need to investigate. Ideally, an effective question has a medium difficulty and a good or fair discrimination value. An orange symbol indicates if the question changed after the test was deployed, which might affect your analysis. An asterisk tells you that the statistics do not include ungraded submissions. Based on what you discover, you can improve the test question so that it truly assesses what students know or don't know. So, to sum up, first access the item analysis tool, run the item analysis for the selected test, next view the statistics for the test as a whole and the individual questions. Investigate questions that are recommended for review, if necessary edit the question.